So a bit of quick review. We talked about boards making four kinds of decisions. Does anyone remember what they are? With an end statement, an end statement right? Executive limitations. Executive limitations. Board staff linkage. Board staff linkage. And how do they manage their business? How do they manage their own governance processes? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that those four key thoughts didn't get lost in all of the richness of, the our, <laughs> of our conversation. Right. Well, it was a great conversation. Thank you all for those wonderful questions. Um, a, a few more thoughts on the Board of Trustees before we move into uh, building up an administrative staff. Um, I wanted to spend a few minutes just talking about some common mistakes that I see in board work. Uh, the single most common mistake is the um, temptation to dip down into operations. And we've talked about a number of ways in which we see that happening here um, at the school or at, in our schools. And we've also noted that that happens most frequently in the non-pedagogical areas of the business. Um, again, interesting that that happens when the purpose of our business, the most important part of our operation, is the pedagogy. So um, this dipping down into operations is um, inappropriate in the long term, although it may be um, a necessity in the short term for a pioneering school. And we gave examples of it like um, uh, getting involved in the detailed creation of a budget, um, managing the annual capital campaign, those kinds of things uh, that aren't really board work. They may be activities that board members see can't be fulfilled in a reasonable way by the current amount of staff that the school has. And so they take responsibility for ensuring they happen. But the actual carrying out of those duties is not a board responsibility. There is, um, we spoke about the board only speaking out of formal action. And violating that is another common mistake that happens. Uh, the presumption that if the board president talks to me about something, that that is a formal board um, direction. We should not make that presumption. A third common mistake is the double delegation. Uh, the board places the administrator in charge of the budget and the finances of the school, but then also creates its own finance committee and its own board treasurer that redoes or ends up doing for the administrator the budget process. Yeah. Who, who's driving the bus? It's only one seat. So we, we have to decide um, how that's going to happen. Uh, community development, we also noted, was a uh, very common area because it's the last of the three realms to really evolve and separate itself. This is often an area where boards tend to stay involved in the operation of the school for a long time. And... Um, we end up thinking that it's the board's job to garner funds for the school through um, development activity. And in fact, that's not just not the case. So I would suggest to you strongly that when board members do that, um, that stepping down into the operation of the community development work, it's inappropriate. Um, we need to be conscious to retitle what's happening there. Okay. Um, what else? Um, personnel management is another common area of dipping down into operations. Uh, pretending that it's hiring and firing every individual in the school. Um, does the board really have the ability to um, do that work or is it in fact rubber stamping? If it's only rubber stamping something that's in reality been entrusted to another group or an individual, 
then let's be honest about what's happening. Don't waste our time. Right. There's not enough of it to go around right now. Um, the last thing, piece maybe, is to think about if you're going to try to move your board from being an operating board in a pioneering school to being a, a board of trustees in a mature school that's operating with three strong leaders in each of the spheres of activity, what are the skills that you're looking for in strong trustees? Strategic thinking. A couple of other ideas. So in the early days, in the pioneer days of a school's development, the board um, may benefit from having a member of the trustee circle who um, is an attorney because that will help to ensure that they get appropriate counsel and that they operate in accordance with the laws of the area. Again, moving towards our long-term vision there is an expectation, I think, and a, uh, a requirement that will come in the form of an executive limitation for all three of our leaders that they operate the school in accordance with all the necessary laws, licensing requirements, restrictions, and so on, um, so that um, that's an expectation to happen at the operating level. Um, I have a couple of suggestions for you to consider. I think a board is well served if they look for visionary thinkers who are able to see alternate futures. They are able to see what might be and take joy in creating what is possible. Trustees should look for conceptual thinkers who see the full impact of various approaches and are able to remain flexible. The last thing we want is Johnny OneNote who says there's only one way to achieve something and keeps hammering that same tune over and over again. Flexibility of thought, something we're trying to develop in our students, and it's an essential trait in the leadership of our school. The ability to connect with and represent the moral ownership of the school. What does that look like? And how, what are the, the capacities in a board member that makes that possible? Can you say that again? The ability to connect with and represent the moral ownership mm -hmm. of the school. I think is a vital <clears throat> trait for a member of this kind of board that we're talking about. It's not the ability to help balance the books, to jump in and um, help manage the accounts payable. <clears throat> it's a very different capacity. Uh, someone who is uh, morally courageous and is able to raise uncomfortable issues. Someone who is able to work in a group and to work in a way to ensure that the group is effective.